audio test of the Baofeng GT5R. This is the Baofeng GT5R. Today we will look at the new Baofeng GT5R in a little more detail to find out the basic parameters such as the included antenna and how it is tuned to the 2 meter and 70 centimeter bands, what the RF output power the radio gives on both bands, what receiver sensitivity we can expect compared to the Quansheng UVK5 or TK11, and we will not miss a comparison of reception on the airband. Finally, we will see how this radio handles TX audio compared to the Quansheng radios, so let's get started. While a battery is charging, let's start with the SWR test and at the same time compare competing antennas such as the Quansheng UVK5 or the Abri AR806 Plus, which is slightly shorter than the original included antenna from Baofeng. All three antennas are dual band for 2 meter and 70 centimeter bands. So, Let's start with the Quansheng UVK5 antenna, which I placed in the middle of the room with this tripod away from the walls so that their influence on the measurement result is minimal. The analyzer itself is also isolated from the tripod. And here is the result. The best SWR in the 2 meter band is 2.1 at the top of the band. This is how it looks like in 70 cm band, where the SWR is lowest at the beginning of the band. Now let's look at the AR806 Plus and the 2 m band. Here we see that on the 2 m band the SWR is almost unusable and resonates about 147 MHz far outside the band. On 70 cm it is a little better and the lowest SWR is around 1.6 at the beginning of the band. And finally let's look at the original Baofeng antenna. The result is surprisingly good, starting with 2.5 SWR at the beginning of the 2 meter band and ending with 2 SWR at the end of the band is not ideal, but far better than the previous antennas. And on 70 cm band it is perhaps ideal. The lowest SWR of 1.1 or 1.2 can be found almost exactly in the middle of the band. I think that even the PMR or GMR as operators will be happy. So the battery is charged, so let's measure the output RF power using the Suricom Sugar Whiskey 102 power meter and this 100 watt dummy load. In the 2 meter band I set 145.5 MHz and in the 70 cm band 433.5 MHz. In the 2 meter band the radio gives us 4.7 Watt of power, so almost 5 Watt. And in the 70 cm band the radio gives us up to 6.3 Watts, which is quite surprising. What do you think? Also, a spurious emissions are important to look at on this new radio. In the 2 meter band we see a 0 dB signal at the fundamental frequency and only miniature spikes that are weaker than the fundamental signal by 60 dB, which I consider satisfactory. It looks a little worse on the 70 cm band, where we see a parasitic signal about 36 dB weaker than the fundamental signal, which is not very good. And we also see some spikes below the fundamental frequency. Here I rate it worse. And now let's look at the sensitivity of the receiver and compare it with the Quansheng TK11 and UVK5. Let's also look at whether the squelch opens in each radio at the same weak signal or not. 
Let's start with the frequency 145.5 and I set the signal level to minimum 115 dBm and the modulating audio signal is 1 kHz. Let's start with the TK11, UVK5 and then GT5R. Next, let's see if the squelch gate at level 1 will still open at minus 115 dBm signal. And now we will do the same test but in the 70 cm band and frequency 433.5 and amplitude 115 dBm. As you can see, the TK11 improved here, but the GT5R deteriorated very slightly. Since the tested radios also received the airband, I also compared the reception here in AM and the frequency 134.5 MHz with the same weak signal. And finally, let's look at the TX audio itself. Here, I will also use the Quancheng TK11 and the UVK5 for comparison. The audio is captured directly from the built in speaker of the Yesu FTM150 transceiver. This is the audio test. This is the audio test from Quancheng TK11. Audio test of Quancheng TK11. This is the audio test. This is the audio test of the Quancheng UVK5. This is the audio test of the Quancheng UVK5. Audio test, audio test, audio test of the Baofeng GT5R. The test, audio test of the Baofeng GT5R. This is the audio test. 
This is the audio test. The Quan Sheng TK11. The Quan Sheng TK11 audio test. This is the audio test. This is the audio test. The Quan Sheng UVK5. The Quan Sheng UVK5 audio test. This is the audio test. This is the audio test. The Baofeng GT5R. The Baofeng GT5R audio test. So what do you guys think about this little Baofeng GT5R? Is it worth buying or not? Write me your opinion below in the comments. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again sometime in the future. 7-3